There are levels of manifestation that you haven't been told about. Some things that happen behind the curtains in a way. And I'm gonna share with you exactly what this is, what you should know about it, and how you can use it in your own way and take your power back. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I wanna be sharing with you the hidden levels of manifestation. These are things that I believe some people know, some organizations know, some groups know, but they don't necessarily make it apparent to the people. And I think maybe you can start to get my drift what I mean by this. And what I mean is that there are certain things that may be orchestrated, may be put on a certain way so that it affects the collective consciousness of the earth so that then it gives some type of an agenda, some type of outcome that maybe a certain group of individuals would like because then they remain powerful. Now, the thing is about this is there are, you know, you can call this whatever you want to call it. You can call it the mastermind principle from think and grow rich or when many people's minds come together focused on one outcome, it has a certain level of power and the more people that have their mind focused on that, the more powerful it is. And maybe it's time to also realize that there's a reason certain things appear to be so negative in the world. I just today actually, with the time I filmed this video, I put out a video on what's going on in the world with why the, the media and certain things come out with so much anger and fear. And I ask, ask one question. Have you ever noticed that 99% of everything ever released on the media is completely negative? Have you ever realized that? And when people watch it, it puts them into a certain frequency that isn't the most empowering. And that then those people that's power is siphoned via them paying attention to something, they don't really even have the power to then go put it into their own vision of what they would want to experience. Think whatever has attention has the power. Wherever we put our attention is where we put our energy. So when we start to see our energy as currency, and the more people's energy that's focused on certain things, the more energy goes in that direction, the more we can see that maybe, just maybe, there's certain things that are right in front of us that we've just come to accept. Now, this is what and why I'm making this video, because I want to show you that you can begin to wake up and take your power back and put it in the stuff in the direction that you want. That's what this is really about. I had no idea that the post that I put on Instagram talking about probably what you think I'm talking about. I don't want to say the words because I say the words then uh, <laughs> this whole video doesn't get shared as much. That's the way the algorithm works. And the, uh, I, I made a video about it kind of wake, like showing people, hey, wake up. Stop watching the news. Stop doing these things that lower your vibe because when it lowers your vibe and then you're worried about it, it actually weakens your immune system which makes it even more likely that something could happen. So the best thing you could do is actually not worry. It is have trust and faith in the process and then divert your attention to what you want. Now, why would people put the attention on that and do that? I don't know the answers. I don't know the exact reason. I do know though that 99.9% of everything put on the media ever that you've ever seen has been completely fear and negative and something that makes you feel fear or anger. And that when people feel fear and anger, they're much easier to control. They're much more obedient. They don't become creators of their own reality because then they're just watching the television, doing what they're told to do in the exact state that is being projected at to them. Whatever you tune yourself to via the television, you are tuning your vibration to and you're adding and feeding energy to it. Then you're gonna go, hey, I wanna manifest something in my life. And it's like, too, too bad, there's not enough energy. <laughs> You've already given it all to the fear and anger, to the lower vibrational states. If you keep people in low vibe states, they're not gonna raise above and then it makes it very easy for the ones to retain their own power. So this is just me putting the attention on certain things. I'm not trying to 
to make some bold claim or anything. I'm just saying, question it. Become aware of it. Now, when it comes to hidden levels of manifestation, understand there is this triad. We have the universe, where everything is connected. Think of it as a microcosm, macrocosm. We have that of the universe, earth, and then the soul. So we are creating our own reality from what we think, feel, and act. And the earth, there is something called the collective consciousness around earth. Now, here is the thing. There is an electromagnetic energy that goes around each of our bodies. This electromagnetic energy emanates out of us and you can even measure this energy based on the person's emotion and see a difference in this field compared to someone else's based on their emotion. There are, there are ways that they, they show this using technology. Now, the individual energy that we have emanating off of us, there is then a collective energy that is going around the whole entire planet that is an accumulation of all the billions of people around the world that have the energy emanating out of their field, out of their energetic field that goes around their body. Now, what we call this is collective consciousness. This is the collective consciousness. Now, just like we are influencing our own reality from what we think, what we feel, and, what we, and how we act, if you can control the narrative of what people pay attention to on the planet, you will then control the probabilities of what the collective consciousness experiences. So let me say that in another way. What happens is we individually create our own reality. What we think, feel, and act is what determines the different probabilities that we experience. And at a collective level, whatever we are collectively focused on and the emotional state we're in, the thoughts we're thinking, and the actions we are collectively taking is determining what our collective consciousness probability we experience. So we have the soul, earth, and the universe. Now the ones that we're really gonna focus on is the soul and the earth, because when we talk about the universe and we talk about other beings and stuff, that's a whole different rabbit hole to go down. However, there is this triad here. Now this is why a lot of times I talk about when you are doing what you love to do and adding value to other people, it's even more powerful because when I'm adding more people, adding value to the people on earth, the people that are, are watching my videos, I believe that that energy comes back to me and it's like this big cycle. It's almost like the universe will see that you're using the resources, not just for you, but also for other people. And it gives you more resources because it wants you to help more people. That's kind of the way I explain it, but think about it. I was at a Tony Robbins conference recently and he, he talked about this and I, I like that because it, it's something I do believe in. He said, if you are doing something for yourself, there's a certain amount of energy you have available for you. You'll see a lot of times people will then have a kid or something. And then as they have a kid, all of a sudden they step up. A buddy of mine, who's also a YouTuber, he's getting ready to have a kid. And he told me, he said, the only time I really step up and start, you know, because, get to the next level of success is when there's some external reason for me to do so. So when he got a girlfriend, then he, he took his success to the next level. Now he's having a baby, he's take, he wants to take it to another level. It's one of the reasons he called me, because I was helping him strategize things so that he could add more value to people and, and do that so that he's uh, secure with his, uh, with his family. Now what Tony Robbins says is that then when you're not doing it just for yourself, you have more resources available, more energy at store for you. Then when you have the intention of adding value, maybe not to just your wife or your husband and kids, then if you want to also add value to your community or then your society or then your country or then your world, then there's a different level there to that. So there's, there's more energy at store for you. So one of the ways you can go about this is to add value to more people. So that's the way that I do it. I add value by doing what I'm passionate about, but then I also add value to other people knowing that that energy comes back to me and the universe will more so support me with that. Now, if you've ever read the book, Think and Grow Rich, one of the main parts of it is something called the mastermind principle. When you are focused on one outcome and you get other people also focused on that outcome, it becomes much, 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 much more powerful. And think of it. Could it be that this awareness has been used in a way to keep people within a certain box with millions and millions and millions of people to be focused on the most negative aspects of our consciousness because then these people just do what they're told. They don't really question reality much. It just seems normal to pay 
40% tax and, and, to, and to go through these different processes. That's just something we, yep, yeah, that's the way it works. Most people are on the hamster wheel of going to the job that they may not like, trying to climb the corporate ladder. They, get at, they go home at the end of their day and they've worked some 50 out, 40, 50 hour week and they're getting ready for bed and they're like, huh, I wonder why I'm here on earth. I wonder what my purpose is. And it's like, oh, time to go to bed. Don't have time. Could it be that we're just kept busy, 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 busy? And that we're led to believe that this is the way reality really is? The more you raise your vibration, the more free you become. I remember when I went through my awakening back in 2012, I was wondering to myself, why wasn't I taught this growing up? Why did I come to this conclusion through meditation after also reading books and doing this inner work? Why did I like stumble across this? Why wasn't I taught this? And then you start going down the rabbit hole and you realize that there may be a, I'm not here to, con, to give these big, bold claims, but just question it. That's all I'm going to say. We've been so primed and programmed to hear a perspective like this, to go, nope, I don't, I don't. I, I put this post on Instagram yesterday. There were a couple of people that were like, this new, new age, like it got so much actually positive enforcement, what I shared on YouTube, on Instagram. But there were a couple of people that were like, Oh, I can't I unfollow or something like that. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, is it really that far out there? It's just this perspective. I've just shared this perspective, but some people are so comfortable in the current reality. And they, it's just, this may seem too far out there, but I'm just saying, question it. I'm not asking you to completely dive in, start to question these things, start to question what you consume, start to question and pay attention that maybe there is some type of an agenda there. If you were to do more and more research, if you were to read the books, The Law of One, the raw material, which is uh, some of the most profound channeled material from the early 1980s, the husband was a physicist asking his wife questions who was channeling this material. There's a lot of information that comes through with that. There's a lot of, a lot of things that have been around since early 1900s that we don't necessarily know about as a collective and we would prog we're programmed to shut that out and be like, that's not true. There's no way I would know about it. It's almost like the frog was put into water and then it was slowly turned up into boiling and the th that's what happens. If you, were, I don't, I've never done this. I've never would, but they say that if you were to put a frog into boiling water, it would immediately jump out. But if you put a frog in lukewarm water and then slowly turn it up till it's boiling, it will boil itself to death. So could it be that so many of us have been in the boiling water, we're so comfortable with where we are, we believe what we're told. Watch the movie The Truman Show and begin to see how in life it may be something kind of similar. That things look a certain way, you know, that was a, The Truman Show is a metaphor, but things look a certain way and appear a certain way many times to keep people from their true power. If we all knew how powerful we were, we would take our power back and reality would be very different. But I believe that one of the reasons we came here is to remember who we are, is to remember our connection to each other and to actually unify ourselves together to take back our power. Because maybe for thousands of years, the power dynamic on the planet has been where there's a certain number of people that understand certain things about the way universe works, about the way reality works. Then what they do is they say, okay, well, if we can orchestrate certain things to show, become a certain way, what we can end up doing is keeping people in a certain mentality to where they don't question things too much and they're much more easily moldable. And then what we can do is just do our thing and retain the power. Well, what we decided to do is we decided to come here and to change it from the inside out. That's what we did to come here. You've got to completely forget who you are so that you can then remember who you are. Now, as I share this right now, just see if that resonates, go within yourself to see if that resonates with you. I know that the way we're programmed and primed to think is that this would all seem very weird and wouldn't I know, but just go within yourself to see, does this resonate? And see that the, the, the reason you may have come is to wake up to who you are. You are an infinite spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And one of the things I believe we wanted to do in this life is to connect to each other and to take our power back.
We are collectively, as a collective consciousness, creating the probable timelines that we experience in reality. And the key to this is us waking up and taking our power back from where we've been investing it. And instead of investing energy into fear, into anger, and the things that are put on the television, what I would recommend you do is know that your energy is potent and where you put your energy, where you put your currency, is where you're putting your momentum. It is the reality that you are feeding. And instead of feeding a negative paradigm, I encourage you, I implore you, to focus more on positive things. To focus more on things that make you feel integrated, things that make you feel empowered, on your own vision. And get together with other friends and family and focus on a certain vision. Go through the mastermind principle. You've got many people below that think the same way as you do, and these are people that can be your mastermind. So, this is something I think is extraordinarily powerful. I have another video that I'm going to link below that is on this kind of concept. You'll see it below and um, it will help you to understand more about this. It's called The Secret. I think it's called, I forget what it's called, but it'll be below. Anyways, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace, much love, and namaste.